share with us about about some of the things that you're doing as a teacher some of the establishment organizations that you have put in place well I, I set up Rayma by the school. I had a prophecy. I was called out in 2015, 2015 at a conference. Oh. And the prophet, who never knew nice. me, never the spoke to me before, me, spoke said that the before. teachings that I was that doing that in the current that church I was in, the current church I was in, is too big for the church. It's too big. It's too, it's, too wow. it's too big for the four walls in which we were. We were. Hmm. And the and the prophet said that my teachings will be exported to the nations. My yeah, teachings will yeah. go around the world. My teachings will go around the world. And and cut a, st a long story short. A long story short. When I set at Rema Bible School. When I set at Rema Bible School. The first branch was in 2017. 2017. March 2017. Hmm. And that was in the African country of Liberia. African country of Liberia. So from 2017, so from until, 2017 now, until now, just over five years, just over five years we have 280, we have 280 branches. branches. Wow, wow, wow. And that's in and 30, that's countries, in around 30 the countries around the world. Oh my God. So wow. at Rayma Bible School, we have at certificate Rayma courses. School, we have certificate courses. It's actually called a general certificate, in, a biblical general studies. certificate in biblical studies. Hmm. And we have diploma courses, we have diploma courses, advanced diploma courses, advanced diploma courses. We've just launched uh, an advanced, advanced diploma in evangelism. Diploma in evangelism. We're putting together a discipleship together course a now. Discipleship course now. And a church planting course. And a church planting course. I have written hundreds of written individual hundreds lessons individual for Sunday lessons school children. Sunday school children. So wow. that they can be taught that correctly. Correctly. Right from the mm. young right age the in young age. Sunday school. Yes. Sunday school. And so mm. they grow up only so knowing the truth. Grow up only knowing the truth. And I have courses for teenagers. Wow. And I have courses for teenagers. Issues of life mm. that, that, affects of life that affects teenagers. That affects teenagers. It's put mm. together in, in a it's comprehensive in, Bible in course of thirty five lessons. Bible course of thirty five lessons. Hmm. That does that just does, doesn't that talk does, about that scriptural things about like Elijah or Moses or whatever, or Moses but it talks whatever. about them growing up as a young adult. Growing up as a young adult. So hmm. deal with issues that affect teenagers today, affects real teenagers issues that they have today. to face and real encounter among their peer group. And encounter among their peer group. And hmm. I've written many courses and for adults, courses adult congregations, for adults, adult congregations. Yeah. And I teach online. And I teach online with groups of churches or group of, groups of um, Christians who come together for Bible study come or might preach study. online to a congregation mm -hmm. where to a congregation. they're all looking at me on a projector screen and I'm mm. speaking to them live over the and internet and, and preaching. Mm. And, and, and of course, I travel as well. I travel overseas to speak at pastors and leaders uh, conferences, and, pastors and, leaders conferences and, and all sorts of different mm. meetings. All sorts of different meetings. And within the and ministry, we, we now have ministry, well over 600 we churches. Well over 600 Churches. Under the Rayma ministry. Wow. Under the Rayma ministry. And I, I'm, the and I'm the general overseer for that. So the Rayma ministry has wow. grown, wow. it's enlarged. Has grown, it's enlarged. And it's increasing every day. Hmm. And it's increasing every day. And one of the things that's been a cry for many years is that many of the pastors are not trained. They may have a zeal, they have passion, they want to serve God, but they don't know the scriptures well enough to be able to teach it. They've never been to Bible school. The issue that you've raised is that the pastor is reluctant to go to learn under the feet of somebody else. It's a pride issue. They think the Holy Spirit will teach them and that's enough. They don't need to go to Bible school or anything. Um, so, so there, there are, are people, people like, like that, that yes. yes. However, the, the people, people that I come across the most are people, people that have a passion for the word of God. God. Mm. They, want they want to know what it says. says. They, they want, want to learn more. They have a hunger for it. But they don't have the money to be able to afford Bible school. They can't go to the... I mean, some of them, many of them live in villages, rural areas. They're not in the town and cities where the Bible schools are. Hmm. They're in a bush somewhere in the village. Yeah. And so there's nobody there really to teach them. And they don't have the money to travel to go to a Bible school and pay course fees. Because they don't have the money, they're poor. 
So they stay in, in relative ignorance concerning the word of God and they do their best. Yeah. And those are the type of people that really flock to Raymond Bible School. Wow. See, when, wow. I, when, I, when I started to write the lessons, the teachings, I wrote them for ordinary Christians. Hmm. And so to my astonishment, when I saw the feedback of, of students around the world, the vast majority were ordained ministers. Wow. There were pastors and church leaders, bishops, apostles. Wow. They're in my classes, wow. learning and the teaching, and mm. it's transforming their lives. Mm. And, the, and the thing that, that gripped me the most, that touched my heart the most, is when I, set, I, when I point them as a principal, and I send them all the Bible lessons, all the curriculum, they have to read it first and understand it. And mm. then to teach the class, teach the students. And by reading the word of God and seeing the materials, the curriculum, yes. they learn so much. Mm. It's transformed their lives, transformed their ministries, and it's impact what they teach mm. in church on a Sunday morning and mm. what they believe. Mm. Things they've taught and preached for years, they see that, no, that's error. They have a zeal, they have a desire, for the word of God. Yes. But unless they have the finances to be able to afford the courses so that they can learn, mm. they stay where they are, doing their best, preaching some pagan stuff, things that they heard from other people, and also what they think they can gather from the word of God and mixing it up, and that's all they know. Mm. So at Raymond Bible School, <coughs> a lot of our teachings is directly to ministers mm. and when we have the the teaching which i put all under um the Rayner pastors and Le leaders network it's yeah. my training organization for ministers mm. we just don't teach the bible by itself so that they can have a greater understanding of the depths of god's word mm. know what the bible teaches from genesis to revelation mm. so they can teach the correct things in the scripture mm. But we also teach them leadership skills because mm. a lot of these people don't know how to lead people. Mm. They don't know how to disciple people. They don't know how to get the best out of their members. They have no leadership skills whatsoever. They treat the people bad according to how they feel. So we teach them proper leadership skills as well and how to develop the churches, how to grow the churches. How to make it in line with what the Bible teaches about how the church should be, how it should be established, how it should be run. And we, we, we do uh, church administration, church finances, mm. how to handle money, yeah. um, marketing, how to promote the church, how mm. to deal with people coming to the church for the first time, how to welcome them, look after them. Mm. Yeah, all online social media stuff. We help them in church governance and leadership and management. Mm. as well as leading people how to do that skillfully and what the Bible teaches, biblical knowledge. So all this, are, now these people, like I said, much of them are not able to afford it. They can't pay for it. They don't mm. have the money. I don't charge them for that. Wow. All the train, all the thing I just mentioned under the training, I give it to them free. They join the Rhema Pastors and Leaders Network and everything. They get videos, they get teachings, they get my Bible lessons, everything. And it's all free to elevate them so they become wow. more able ministers of the gospel. They can preach better because they know the Bible better. They can lead their churches better because they have leadership skills. They can go down the road and plant another church and do it properly because of what they've learned. And I'm doing this now for ministers around the world hmm. and ministers from 24 countries have signed up for it and have been trained right now by wow. me on that and like i said it is free oh so God. it's not been a case of they don't want to go under another person and learn from them no the people i come in contact with um they all want correct teaching and they want more hmm. of it and they're yes. pulling on me for more and more teaching please can we have more because they there's a thirst for truth yes, and wow. they want to know the truth, mm, mm, but they mm. see a lot of lies everywhere wow. and a lot of false teaching. 
So when they find the truth, mm. they cling onto it, hold onto it very strongly. Mm. And they pull in me all the time. Please come over and teach us. Wow. Come and preach. Send us more information. We have a conference. You come and teach. Wow. Great demand all the time and my time. Wow. Because they, they want the truth of God's word. Yes. And because they want the truth of God's word, it is my pleasure to give it to them. Yes. Because yes. that's my calling. I'm a Bible mm. teacher. That's what I do. Wow. Nothing makes me happier than when I'm doing what I'm called to do. That is satisfaction in life. So I am a very happy man because I'm doing what God called me to do. Before we um, end this conversation, how can somebody join uh, your, your, your programs that you have, your pastor's uh, Bible study network and your Bible school? And, and anything that you want to share with the audience to want to know you more, feel free to take this time and just let us know how we can keep in touch and be part of some of the things that you're doing. Well, the easiest or the best way is to go via the website, which is www.ramabibleschool.com. Ramabibleschool.com. Because there you will find some of the messages and teachings that you can click a button and watch me teach and preach. And there you will find information with our emails, how to contact me or, or others. Now, if you want to join one of the branches and you know, attend and be taught, then that's great. It's the um, contact details are on the website. But it depends on what country you're in, because we're in 30 countries at the moment, and we're going to be expanding to more countries. So if you're in a country where we don't have a, a branch, then you can't go there and study, obviously. So you don't have to rely on online teaching. You can go on our YouTube channel, which you can find the link from our website. And so you can watch our lessons. You might be able to find me teaching online somewhere else. Um, on things like this, you might find me doing things. So there's access to the ministry, access to me, even if you, there is no branch of the Bible school near you. And also, like I mentioned, we have well over 600 churches now. So you could go to any one of those and then you would find the teachings of Rhema Baba School because those churches teach um, the lessons that I, I provide them and the teachings I give them. So there's a lot of ways to be able to connect. But the starting point, www.rhema, R-H-E-M-A, Rama Bible School.com. And that's the door to open up all the other things that I've spoken about. Okay, guys, this is a wrap. Once again, thank you, Dr. Denny, for your time and your precious um, insight and revelation on the importance of uh, for us as believers to be Bible students and the tremendous work that you're doing for the body of Christ. I'm really, really impressed and keep up the good works.